Hi there, my name is Vadim Mikhalenko and in this quick video I'd like to talk to you and show how you can manage profile and publish posts uh, using WordPress. So this is what we're going to look at. We're going to look at profile management. So when you log in, how you can manage your profile, update your bio, insert the website and uh, update your picture and potentially change password if this is something what you are trying to do. And also we're going to look at how you can create new posts uh, pick the relevant categories, uh, relevant tags, and uh, submit post for review. So I am going to log in into WordPress using credentials you have received via email from your instructor. And uh, this is the interface that you're going to see uh, in the WordPress. Um, so what we're interested in is two categories. We're looking at profile. This is the first thing we're going to cover. And uh, what we're going to do is look at the information uh, that was entered, make sure that your first and last name was spelled correctly, uh, and make sure that you have a website. I already uploaded a picture, but I'll walk you through the process. When you log in for the first time, here you wouldn't see any picture, but I'm just going to uh, go and choose uh, File. This is the file that I've selected, and I'm going to click Upload. So picture is something that you probably would like to take ahead of time, maybe using your phone, or maybe you have another picture. Uh, and upload um, onto the website. Another thing I'd like to show you is how you can um, change the uh, job title, company, and uh, enter some uh, information about yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say uh, MATC instructor as a job title. Our company would be Milwaukee Area uh, Technical College. Company URL uh, would be HTTP MATCIT support.org and uh, here we're gonna use uh, add custom biographical information and I'm gonna add passionate information um, technology IT support instructor um, and this is it. If you're looking to change the uh, password, you can enter new password and repeat new password, and it will show you the strength indicator. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, this is only something if you uh, feel that uh, you would want to do. Um, but typically, your password is strong enough, unless you're trying to keep your passwords uh, unique or um, uh, the same uh, along with other passwords that you have. So I've entered all the information. I'm going to click Update Profile and it saved and updated my profile. So now I see um, all my uh, information here and everything looks good. Uh, the next thing I'd like to show you is how you can create new posts. I'm gonna go into posts category and there are existing posts that have been created. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click add new button on the post and here I'm going to type um, this is my sample WordPress post and um, here you will typically type um, the title of the post uh, that instructor is going to give you. Uh, this is typically outlined on the blackboard or it is uh, available in the uh, course schedule. Here in this section you'll type the actual post and I'll, I'd like to point out a couple uh, things here. So this is my post content. Um, there is a button here, uh, toolbar toggle, and when you click on it, it shows the formatting um, section here. So what you can do uh, is you can uh, make text uh, underline, you can change, uh, make it bold, italic, uh, change the text color and typically um, consult and look at other posts that have been made. Uh, the idea here is that you maintain the style and keep style the same for the post. You also will be able to upload the media by clicking the add button and this is where you will be able to select the files and select the pictures and upload the pictures. Make sure you consult your instructor um, on um, the types of pictures and the sizes before you upload them and insert them into post. And the last thing I'd like to show you uh, is how you can pick the categories for your uh, post. 
make sure that this is um, one of the categories um, selected and you pick everything that's relevant some of it is uh, fundamentals some of it might be mobile device repair mobile devices you also would want to pick the tags and you can either type the tags that are relevant or pick from the most used tags and this is the list full list of tags that exist uh, for this um, this uh, post so I'm gonna pick couple here advanced technology certificate associate degree in Wisconsin and once you're done you want to save draft and uh, you can preview your post and I like to pinpoint couple things when you preview so first of all it shows the post this is the title of the post this is the post content right and this is uh, the biographical info that we've entered. So it's a, a MATC instructor at Milwaukee Area Technical College and it shows the URL. And you'll be able to click on this uh, URL to navigate um, to the website. So follow the instruction, uh, follow the directions from the instructor on the uh, size of the post and uh, how to insert and what types of images to use. And uh, once you're done with the post, make sure you save the draft, you preview, and once everything's ready, you click Submit for Review button, and the post will be submitted to the instructor for the review. Hi, I'm Vadim Michalenka from uh, Milwaukee Area Technical College. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, see you next time.